Hi, it's me again with Kirill Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and you can see it's a good vector file with no yellow background or no white background. But they're going to try to engrave this on a black mug or drink powder coated cup. So they want to reverse the, the color, but you can't reverse the color because there's only one color. My suggestion was always to hit the plus key on the keyboard and make you a duplicate for a couple of reasons, in case you mess this one up, and then you can see what the original looked like. We're gonna take this thing and go to object and break the curve apart. That didn't work. Let's go to object and, well, we're gonna have to break the curve apart because it's all one piece. Um, tell you what, let's make another duplicate of it, and put it over here. Go to object, break the curve apart. And then maybe now we can use the uh, boundary tool and we'll make a boundary about it and we'll move the boundary out of the way. Let's go ahead and take our extra copy and do that. And then he wants to put a contour around that. He, he thought about an oval or a circle, but if you do that on a tapered cup, you're going to get some uh, funny shapes. So if we do to the outside point three, and we've got that right there, and then go to object, break contour apart. Now we can take this contour and move it over there and it fits around our new shape. But what we can do now is select this guy and put no fill, and then even right click a black outline, and then put this back and hopefully this will work if we take the Smart Fill tool and set it on black and fill in this outline and then just go through there and, and, uh, and you could go as far as you want on this. Um, now the man is actually white. So when you engrave this off and you could go through there and make his teeth and a couple other things, take the Smart Fill tool and fill in every other spot that's opposite of what we had. And if we look, there's a little big spot right there. Now he's completely the opposite of the way he was. That's why I always keep an original. If you look at him side by side, uh, the, the guy's mustache is now black, white. So it will be black on the cup. And if we take our yellow box trick and go up to object, order back a page. So everything that is yellow is going to be black. Everything that's black is going to be silver, which is going to be the remainder of the cup. <clears throat> and the one I'm doing this for, you could have made that, um, you know, you could have made that contour more or less. You know, we did it 3.3, .3, you could go 0.2 and you wouldn't have as big a contour. Go up to effects, break contour apart, grab the contour, and then nudge it back over your original. I must have moved the original, and that's a no-no. Um, or I moved one of them, because that one's dead on. And we've already used our original. You know, one thing we could try, we could move these two guys down. Maybe this will work and hit P, put it in the center of the page and then hit P, put it in the center of the page, and it did work. So now you just need to do the opposite thing, and you have less silver, or just like I you know, stated before, you could do it more or less and have a bigger contour around it, just depending on how this is gonna wrap around your cup and how much silver you want to show. <clears throat> and like I was saying, and mainly to the person I'm doing this for, you know, you could put an oval, you know, around your cup and an oval might work. Uh, you definitely don't want to try a circle because on a tapered cup, a tapered uh, tumbler, it's going to distort. That wouldn't look half bad, but I, I do like this look of just the contour around it. Anyway, hope that answered his question. Thank you for watching.